Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Danielle Nicole. Um, I am excited today because I was tagged in a tag from Joan from Joan's Point and Plate. So thank you so much, Joan, for thinking of me. I love doing these tags, especially during this time where it's, you know, it's been a, it's been quite a time for most of us in different ways. And well, most of us, all of us, it's been a difficult time. So whenever I get tagged, it's always like, oh, good. It's like a fun video to make. It, you know, it just kind of gets your mind off of things. So Joan, thank you so much for tagging me. I really appreciate this. This looks, this one's called Quick and Easy. So this should be an easy one to do. And I am going to tag Lisa from Dumpy to Diva. So Lisa, if you're interested, I'll have all the questions below for you. So jump on the bandwagon if you're interested. Um, so let's get started with these questions. I eyeballed them really quickly, so I don't, I didn't formulate any answer. So we'll see how this goes. Um, quick and easy tag. I think this was one of the Tuesday tags. So when is your birthday? My birthday is March 19th. I am a spring baby, just had a birthday and I am 45 years old. Um, it's hard to believe that I'm 45 years old. The years have literally gone by so fast. Um, number two, and there's 10 questions by the way. When was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper and mailed it? I believe that was to my aunt for her birthday. Um, yeah, I think that was. I wrote her a card, wrote a little letter to it. Um, I'm big on sending people cards, um, especially thank you cards. It's something that my mom really instilled in me at a young age. And so whenever anyone provides a gift to me or my children, we always sit down and write a thank you card and send it out. Um, I was raised so strict about that. And I know a lot of people don't do that anymore. And I wish people would get back in the habit because if someone took out the time to buy you a gift, bought a card or sent money, they went through that trouble to think of you. And I think it's nice to send a letter back to say thank you. So I, I wish some of those old fashioned things would come back. Um, so I thank my mom for that because it goes a long way and people really treasure that um, Danielle's girls write thank you notes, that type of thing. Um, if there's anything, there's so many things in my parenting I've, I feel like I could do a better job on, but there's only two things um, I think I've done good is I got my kids to nap every day and I got my kids to write thank you notes. So that's it. Th those are the things I'm proud of. But anyway, I'm going off, off, off a tangent because I'm alone in this house all the time, so I think I get lonesome. So when I do these tags, I really start yapping. Um, what did you eat for breakfast this morning? I had a banana, coffee, and I made these um, high protein blueberry muffins. I had one of those. So I just had breakfast and it was really good. Very yummy. Um, what or who is the next band or artist you will see perform live? Probably no one that I can actually think of. Um, we rarely go to concerts. It's so expensive. My kids um, would love to go to a concert. So I'm sure something will come up that they'll start begging me for. The last thing I saw, but they were free tickets that my friend one that gave them to me. I saw Hamilton last year. And the last concert before that, believe it or not, was Prince. Like back in the early 2000s, uh, when my husband and I were first married and had no kids, we went and saw Prince and it was awesome. I'm glad I got to see him. He's just from my childhood and I love him. Even though I know he's a little raunchy, but I do love Prince. Um, what is the last song you listened to? Oh gosh. That's a good question because um, I really haven't been listening to music now that I think about it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I really don't know. Um, isn't that terrible? I don't have an answer for you and I can't even remember. I have not been listening to music now that I think about it. My daughter sings. She sings and plays the piano. Um, she sings this last one song she sang was I think all of me. So my daughter's really, my, my daughter Lauren sings and plays our little piano here, um, but I haven't been listening to music. That's not good, because I'm not in the car anymore to listen to music. Isn't that crazy that this, I just dawned on that? No wonder all of us are kind of a mess right now. Normal things like just listening to music, that's a big part of your life that you love. I haven't been listening to it in the house. Sorry, I guess I'm just, having a light bulb moment of how healthy it is to listen to music and how I enjoy it and I haven't listened to any music. That's crazy, that's just so crazy to me. Um, I'm gonna listen to the radio today. 
if you could be fluent in any other language, which one would you choose? Probably Italian. My mom and my grandma spoke Italian and they'd say, come see, come saw, bella, bella, and they would talk to each other and they would talk in Italian when they didn't want us to hear something. So I would love to learn Italian. I don't know that I ever will, but um, I think that'd be cool to learn Italian because my, my mom and my grandma used to, and I used to pick up on what they were talking about. You know what I mean? Um, does anything on your body hurt right now? Um, right now I feel like I have a little bit of indigestion, but I think it's anxiety to tell you the truth. I just, um, I'm feeling nervous all the time. I don't take any medication for anxiety. Um, but I, I've been having like more yucky tummy, like, you know, like acidy tummy, even though I do take a Meprazole. Um, I think just a lot of anxiety right now. I'm not myself right now. I'm not getting out and about. And, um, yeah, my, my kind of my stomach hurts a little bit, even though I did have breakfast and all that this morning. Um, what's your favorite sports team? I don't really watch a lot of sports to tell you the truth. How about um, the city, my kids' local high school? You know, like when I go to their little games and stuff like that, I would say that. Um, I also like Detroit Red Wings when I do watch sports. I do like to watch um, hockey, but I haven't been really watching too many sports lately. But um, I live in Michigan, so it would be the Tigers and the Red Wings for hockey. So those would be my teams. How often do you watch the news? <laughs> Too much lately, to tell you the truth. Every day. I would say every day. Um, yeah, it's it's something, isn't it, right now? There's so much going on. Um, so much political stuff going on. And um, anytime someone starts talking politics for me, I don't care what side of the aisle it is. I've been telling everybody, I don't want to talk about politics. Someone's going to be offended or hurt. You know, you think you're talking about something safe and you could be upsetting someone. So... I like to keep politics to myself between me and my husband because um, it's it's hurtful, it's divisive, all that kind of stuff. So you'll never hear me talking about politics on here. I feel like it's nobody's business and I feel like people could do a better job at being a little bit more considerate about it. You're entitled to your opinion, you're entitled to free speech, but I think sometimes it's done in a hurtful way, specifically on Facebook these days. Um, so I try to stay out of the trouble and stay out of people's dirt and let people think what they want to think. It's their choice. Do you wear glasses? Well, a couple months ago, I went to the eye doctor and had an exam, and I do need readers. Here, I'll put them on for you guys. This is me with my new glasses. You never see me reading or wearing these on videos because I usually do it for reading. Um, now that I'm 45, it's getting more difficult for me to read fine print, and I'm on the computer all day, and I'm getting worn out. So these are my readers. Got a little... Jimmy Gems here. I got these a couple months ago. I went to the doctors. Thank God I got so many doctor's appointments out of the way recently and got my car fixed because, oh my goodness, you can't you can't really do things like that now. So um, yeah, so I've um, got readers, helps me read. Um, so that is it. I think I went off on some tangents and things like that, but I am, you know, in this home like you guys and it's, sometimes it's nice to just talk. So Joan, thank you so much. This got my mind off of things. This reminded me to listen to some music and um, just keep trudging on like the rest of you guys are doing. And Lisa from Dumpy to Diva, if you're interested, um, this one's for you, lady, okay? So you guys take care, you're in my thoughts and prayers, and I'm doing my best to try to, um, I don't know, stay decently, I don't, I'm not positive and I'm not negative. I feel very flat affect. As a social worker, flat affect means you're just blah. I feel kind of blah. And so I haven't been on wait, um, YouTube as much lately because I really, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I am working on a video today. So um, that's a healthy thing to do is to work on a video and focus on healthy things. So you guys will see a video coming up. You'll see me in my same top because I'm filming another video today. But um, anyway, I'm blabbering. See, I'm blabbering. You guys take care and um, you're in my thoughts and my prayers for real. And I will see you soon. And Joan, thanks again. Bye.